set on the beautiful shores of the Bosporus, the Dolmabake Palace shines in its old splendour. Majestically, the clock tower that was built in 1890 rises up into the sky. Dolmabake is the third Sultan's palace of Istanbul. These royal buildings are considered to be the most beautiful examples of Osmanic architecture. Today, numerous traditional parades and official ceremonies are held in front of this impressive palace. It was built in the middle of the 19th century. The grand designs of Dolmabake and its neighbouring buildings in the style of neo-baroque and neoclassicism are simply breathtaking. residence is located within a picturesque park that contains several delightful fountains and wells. In earlier times, this area was often chosen by the sultans as a place for amusement and recreation. Today, when enjoying the beauty of this park, it seems incredible that Ahmed I commanded that an entire bay be filled with rocks to create more space. Towards the beginning of the 17th century, when the bay had already disappeared because of the construction of the embankment, the expanded garden was given a new name. Translated, Dolmabake means filled garden. The garden has indeed been filled in many ways with a variety of precious decorations and reliefs. In the centre of this beautiful scenery stands a 27 metre high clock tower. It was built in neo-baroque style. of flowers and blossoms spreads out in the palace's idyllic park. Sultan Abdul Mesit I required that his residence be close to the foreign embassies that were close to the Bosporus shoreline. The highly artistic Yet flamboyant architecture of the Dolmabake Palace is also seen as the symbol of the decline of the Osmanic royal family. Western palaces served as the model for the construction of this building that was completed in 1853. The old Topkapi Palace, that had been subject to several architectural changes during past centuries, was replaced by this new residence. The Turkish architect Kabaret Balian and his son Nikogos, who studied in Paris, were encouraged to indulge themselves, both financially and creatively, in the design of this impressive and opulent palace. As 
with its exterior, the beauty and splendour of the internal rooms is simply overwhelming. The magnificent sunlit stairways were influenced by the architecture of the Paris Opera House. Its balustrade was made of precious crystal. is like a magnificent museum. Various works of art, paintings and other valuable gifts from various diplomats and visiting royal families are found throughout. The Osmanic Sultans lived in luxurious rooms such as these until the proclamation of the Turkish Republic in 1923. The building has nearly 200 rooms, some of them offering breathtaking views of the Bosporus. The first minister of the Turkish state, Kemal Atatürk, chose this palace as his residence during his official visits to Istanbul. On November the 10th, 1938, the national hero died here in Dolmabaki. its historic significance and lavish architecture, the Dolmabaki Palace is famous for its wonderful and precious interior furnishings and marvellous ceiling paintings. The residence is known to be one of the last great buildings of the Osmans. Its beautifully decorated facades and unique location right on the shores of the Bosporus are truly fascinating. Today, the palace is part of the Turkish National Museum. It is still used on special occasions, such as official meetings and national events. Whenever a gentle breeze travels across the Bosporus and makes the flowers and blossoms move like dancers, it is easy to understand why the last great sultans chose this place as their residence. And the sultans never completely forgot their one-time residence because on the other side of the Bosporus they could see the captivating silhouette of the Topkapi Palace.